Are you wondering why do you need a dive computer? In this video I'm going to tell you 5 reasons why dive computers are so useful and why you need one. Let's dive into it! Welcome back guys, it's great to see you again and if it's your first time here, welcome to Andrea Ferrari Underwater. I'm Andrea Ferrari and on this channel I share with you scuba diving tips, underwater videos, travels, reviews and much more. So if you're interested, consider subscribing. Okay, the first reason why you need a dive computer is accuracy. If you are using dive tables, it means that you are using a square method to plan your dives. So, your maximum bottom time is calculated like you were at your max depth for the entirety of your dive, not crediting you for the shallower parts. For example, if we want to do a dive at a maximum depth of 18 meters using the PSS tables, we can see that we have a maximum bottom time of 40 minutes. But how many times do you dive at the same depth for the entirety of your dive time? Almost never. A dive computer instead is much more accurate than using dive tables because it calculates your dive in a multi-level way. This means that your dive computer keeps track of your dive meter by meter, minute by minute to give you the most accurate non-decompression time. This function allows you to stay safely underwater as long as possible and longer than what dive table says. The second reason is the ascent rate monitor. If you are a scuba diver, you may know that we have to respect a maximum ascent time speed limit and it's pretty difficult to know precisely how fast you are going while ascending. Someone says don't ascend too fast than your smallest bubble, but would you really trust this method? All dive computers nowadays come with built-in ascent rate monitors. Dive computers eliminates the ascent guessing game by monitoring your ascent speed with visual and audible alarm. The last thing you want as a diver is to accidentally come up too fast and have complication. The third reason is safety. Diving with a dive computer is much safer than diving without because of human error. What does it mean? It means that there is always the possibility of making some mistakes while planning your dive or directly underwater like exceeding your max depth or your max bottom time because we were distracted by an awesome fish. A dive computer instead reduces the possibility of human error because it tracks everything you do and it tells you exactly what you can and cannot do underwater. And if you are close to your non-decompression time limit, it usually starts making really annoying sound. So it's really difficult not to pay attention to it. To be clear, I'm not saying that dive computer doesn't make mistakes, but the possibility to have problems due to planning, ascending or exceeding the maximum bottom time are way less than not using anything or just the dive tables. Some dive computers have also the possibility to know your remaining air integrated in it. It will also calculate exactly how much time you have before you get into your air reserve. This air remaining time is calculated based on your exact depth and your air consumption rate. So what to say, dive computers are just safer. If you already own a dive computer, let me know what it is and why you bought it in the comments below. The fourth reason is the dive log. How many times did you get out of the water, wash your equipment and once at home, you forget the dive details to write on your dive log? 
Having a dive computer is like having a built-in automatic dive log that saves all your important dive information for you. Almost all the dive computers are compatible with your home computer, so you can download your dives into your PC or Mac and have a digital dive log into it or in your phone. And by doing so, you can also stop wasting paper. Moreover, a dive computer dive log records more information than a normal dive log, giving you much more in-depth information like your dive profile. The fifth reason is Nitrox capability. Most modern dive computers are now capable of doing everything we said before, but also using Nitrox a mixture of gases with a higher percentage of oxygen compared to normal air. Have you ever seen the Nitrox dive tables? If you thought that the basics dive tables were confusing, go have a look on the Nitrox ones. You may plan a dive with a certain mix, but when you analyze your gas, and you should always do it before diving with Nitrox, you may find that your mixture is different than what you have planned. Leave the difficult calculation to your computer. All you need to do is to set it to the right mix and go dive. How easy is that? Disclaimer! Remember that to dive with Nitrox you should have done the Nitrox Diver course. Without it you cannot dive with gas mixture different than normal air. Ok guys, now you know why I think dive computers are so useful and now you can also find option for less than 200 euros so even if you just got into scuba diving i suggest you to buy your own dive computer if you are struggling choosing the right computer to buy you can also ask me some advice by leaving a comment under this video posting your question or sending me a private message on my facebook page you can find the link in the description if you appreciate this video, don't forget to click on the like button and if you haven't already, subscribe, activate the notification bell and see you in the next video. Peace!